Hi, Erna Bees. So, I'm in the hospital. Um, <laughs> I had a diverticulitis attack again. Uh, and I, I've been here since 1 o'clock in the morning, and it's like 11 o'clock the next day. Um, they are putting me on medication for it. They did a CT scan, and we had a little bit of a surprise. Um, I have a blood clot. So, yeah. I, I had a blood clot in 2000, and it went into my lung, and it collapsed my lung, and it damn near killed me. So this was a fluke. Um, they were checking the diverticulitis, and they just happened to come across this clot in my leg uh, and stomach area. So it was traveling up um, towards my lung. So um, yeah, I'm glad that they caught it. Um, it was not something I was expecting. So I guess I'm on blood thinners for the rest of my life now. Yeah, they said that if I got another clot, then that would be it. So. Um, they're, yeah, so they're gonna take my IV out and give me a couple of prescriptions and, yeah, so, good times, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about that. Hi, Yarn Bees. Okay, so, oops, crooked, or something. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> um, so I, I can't do anything in this room. Um, I'm not up to it right now. And so guess what? I started crocheting again because I've been sitting on the couch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, in between going to the bathroom, I, I pretty much reside in the bathroom now because of the medication that they got me on. So that's fun. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Ouch. Excuse me. Oh, it hurts to cough. It hurts to do anything right now. I'm okay. All right. I'm okay. Uh, I just got to get rid of this infection that I've got, this diverticulitis infection. Uh, that takes a few days when, you know, before the medication kicks in. Although it's kicking in quite well because it's got me going to the bathroom. So <laughs> I'm getting all the demons out. <laughs> Let's just say. <laughs> um yeah, as for the blood clot, well, it is what it is. And uh, the medication that I'm on right now, they're giving me a big blast of blood thinner for the first 10 days and then taking the pills every day after that. <laughs> so, yeah. That's really, we have a Bailey. Uh, yeah, so I see. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I actually got a finished object done. Yay! Because this object I've had since before Christmas. Uh, I, think I, I think I showed it to you way back. Um, but I actually got it done just now, actually. I don't have a mannequin right now to show it on because they're downstairs. <laughs> so... Um, it's, oh, can you even see it? I'm, I'm trying to look through the holes in the sweater, but, um, so I've got, I actually did this type of, um, this type of ribbing, which 
I don't normally do. Um, like I started with the ribbing and then did the sweater and I don't normally do that. And I got to kind of say, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not hating it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and then I just got the sleeves done and I thought the sleeves were actually going to be too small, but they're not. I put it on and they actually fit mine and I've got bat wings. So, <clears throat> so that's good. And then I just put just a thing of single crochet, a round of single crochet on there for the collar. I did the three quarter sleeves. I don't normally do three quarter sleeves on my on my stuff, but uh, a lot of people like three quarter sleeves, so I thought, okay, fine. So this is the bead stitch and double crochets. So yeah, it's more of a spring fall kind of sweater I think <clears throat> so so that's done oh, yay and then I think I showed you this before oh excuse me um oh, where do I put this <laughs> I think I showed this to you oh I don't know who that is so they're gonna go away um hang on <laughs> I showed you this before because I, I started, I think I did, um, before Christmas or around Christmas. I started it and I thought, well, I should probably, <clears throat> probably get going on it some more. So it's a waffle stitch. Wow. What is going on with my voice? <clears throat> Woo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the waffle stitch. And it's actually pretty wide. I, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make this a cardigan or a pullover sweater. I think I was going to do a cardigan with it, which would make more sense because it's pretty wide. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. That would be the easiest, smartest thing to do. So I started to continue with that. I realized when I came in here... What I really wanted to do was a kid's sweater with the yarn that Mary sent me. So it was like one of those duh, aha uh -huh moments. And I was like, oh, right. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. <laughs> and I'm going to start on that. <laughs> ah, you guys, my brain. I'm just in so many different directions. I got a call from the city of Cowichan Valley saying that they haven't processed my business application yet because the address apparently is wrong. And I was like, well, that's the address that they gave me. So I, I had a lot of finagling to do this morning. I found out from BC Hydro that the address is actually right because they have that address in their system. Nobody else can seem to find it. So they're going to get me. I gave the meter number to the lease or, and I'm going to get her to take a look at the meter and see if it's right. If it's right, then that's the right address. If it's wrong, then we got a problem. Uh, either way, she has to phone the city and find out what the problem is. Because it's an old building. It's been renovated a few times for different things. There was a furniture, big, big furniture store in there before. Then it got split up to make little stores. And about 30 years ago, there was little stores in there. So that's where this address is coming from. Uh, and then it got um, made into one big store. And now it's little stores again. So... There's a bit of confusion with the city as to what's happening. <laughs> but they better figure it out soon because I only have a few more weeks before I got to get in there. And, oh, I can't even believe that. We're at the middle of the month already. And I am nowhere near ready. <sighs> and now I'm sick and now I can't work with Skip the Dishes. And I got to come up with my rent still. And I have to... Uh, I just got my business insurance, um, so I have to come up with that money, 
and uh, there's a whole bunch of things financially that I got to come up with and I can't work right now. So yeah, I'm trying really hard not to get down and depressed and it's really difficult. So, but I did get my open sign. <laughs> I got my, ow. Oh, I got a two way LED or whatever open sign. This thing's kind of cool actually. But it swings. I can't remember how it swings. How does it swing? It swings. Oh yeah. All, oops. All the letters turn. So you can have the sign either this way or this way. So I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I got that. Um... What else? I don't know. I got so many things I need to do. So many projects. Oh. Ow. Wow. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> um. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to make um, a kid's sweater. I don't know. Size anywhere from 6 to 10-ish. And, um... Yeah, try and get back on the crochet wagon. Looking forward to that. Well, I have to be laid up in bed in order to get to do that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but, oh well. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Don't have anything else to tell you, I don't think. Uh, yeah. So, I will keep you guys posted. And look at that. You get three videos from me this week. Woohoo! I'm, <laughs> I'm getting back into it, I think. Um, so let's keep it going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, yeah. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. I, I, I will, will be okay now that they've caught everything and they're fixing it. Um, I have an appointment on Monday, next Monday. For, uh, for a hematologist or whatever, I don't know, um, to talk more about the clot thing. So I will give you more information about that later. Okay. Uh, oh, and I'll put a picture here of where the clot was. So it was on its way up to my lung. So it's a good thing that they caught it fast. It was weird. It was like I was laying in bed. Um, I had flu-like symptoms. I was chilled and I was, and the, the pain from the diverticulitis was intense. I, I haven't had a bad one like that before. And it was, it was really bad. Um, and I could hear somebody yelling at me saying, get your ass up out of bed and get to the hospital now. And I was like, okay, I'm going. <laughs> so yeah. So I went and lo and behold, they found the clot uh, by chance, by absolute freak chance. Um, so yeah, they weren't even looking for it. It was just, it was right in that area where they were scanning. If it had have been, you know, a week before, it would have been down in my leg. If it had been a week after, it probably would have been up in, towards my lung and they wouldn't have seen it. Um, so thank you. So anyway, okay, I love you all and I'll talk to you later. Bye.